Welcome to the Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner for this month. I'm going to tie a peacock stimulator. This is a fly I use a lot during the midsummer time periods when we've got bigger bugs about. And believe it or not, I use this a lot in lakes. Our area lakes all work along the edges with uh, a float tube or, or in the boat with a trolling motor and I'll bang the banks with this uh, fly. I'll cast in tight to the rocks and often as not I've, I've taken some very nice rainbows up in Polina and East Lake and some other of our area lakes using this pattern or one very similar. This pattern was originally designed by Randall Kaufman I've used some different materials from his original pattern, and I think you'll like the end result. This fly catches a lot of fish for me every summer. So let's review the materials list for this pattern. I'll cover each material in some depth because I want you to understand the whys behind the material I chose, not just how to tie it on the hook. For the hook, I'm going to use a Firehole 718 barbless hook in size 8. This is a brand new hook that's just been released to the market, and I really like it. For the thread, I'm going to use an Ultra 210 denier olive green. I use a heavy thread here because I really want to compress the elk when I uh, tie it on to the hook. You can use a lighter th thread if desired though. For the tail and wing, I'm going to use tan elk hair. For a rib, I've got black ultra wire in small, and this is going to help add strength and durability to the abdomen hackle and peacock. For the abdomen, I'm going to use three barbs off a natural peacock feather. And I've chosen these on the left side of the feather. You can see where I've cut them off because those will give me the very longest uh, barbules on this fly. For the abdomen hackle, I'm going to use a Whiting Grizzly Dyed Dunn saddle, and I'll slightly undersize this for the hook size. I want the uh, abdomen saddle to be a little smaller than the hackle feather in the thorax. For the underwing, I'm going to use UV Tan Crystal Flash, and this will give a little life to this fly and help it make make it more effective. For the wing, again, I've got elk. For the legs, I'm going to use hairline barred crazy legs, and this is a pearl flake dark olive. For the thorax dubbing, I've got blue ribbon fly zelon, and that's in brachycentris olive, which is a very dark olive color. And lastly, for the thorax hackle, I'm going to use a whiting dark barred ginger cape and I'll size this hackle a little bit larger than the hackle in the abdomen. I want this fly to sit up and float uh, forward and I'll do that with the uh, oversizing that hackle just slightly. So let's get started with this pattern. I'm going to tie on my thread at the two-thirds point of the hook and I'm going to leave my thread right at the two-thirds point. Next, I've taken a group of um, elk and clipped it off and cleaned it very carefully and stacked it in my hair stacker. And so I'll take that out of the hair stacker and I'm going to tie on right at that two-thirds point and then wind it all the way back to the tail set position. And then I'll clip off the excess at a very um, steep angle to the hook shank so that I can lay that real flat on the hook. Once I've clipped off the butts, I'll go ahead and wind over them to uh, create that gentle taper up in the thorax area. Then I'm going to wind on my wire and leave that reserved back at the tail position.
So next I've chosen three barbs off the peacock tail feather and I'm going to align those very carefully and tie them in at the butts with the shiny side facing back and the dull side facing forward. And then I can take and wind these as a group all the way through the abdomen area of the fly. You'll see as I wind these forward, the, the three um, barbs marry together and they create a nice dense body uh, for this pattern. So I'll wind that up to the, the thorax position and tie it off and cut off the excess. So I've prepared my hackle and I'll tie it in right at the back of the thorax position and then I'll wind it all the way back to the tail set. And once I reach the tail set, I'm going to go ahead and tie that off with that wire that I reserved earlier. And then I'll weave the wire all the way forward through the peacock and the hackle feather up to the thorax and tie it off. That'll add a tremendous amount of strength to this pattern. Once I've reached this point, I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and just give that hackle a haircut right where the wing needs to lay. Next, I've taken some crystal flash and I'll fold it on my thread and draw that up to the uh, thorax position on the fly and go ahead and tie that in to, to form the underwing on this pattern and I'll clip that off right about the length of the tail or slightly less than the length of the tail. I've cut a grouping of elk and I've stacked it in my hair stacker and now I'll go ahead and take it out, measure the length of the wing which is going to be just slightly longer than the crystal flash but maybe not quite as long as the tail and I'm going to set that in place and go ahead and tie that in and clip off the excess. Next, I've taken two rubber legs and I'm going to tie them on right at the front of that wing. And I'm going to tie them on with two or three fairly soft wraps and then go ahead and position the legs in place by pulling each around to right about where I want them to lay. And then I'll, I'll add some wraps over that to tighten it down and bind it permanently in place. So then I'll clip these legs down to size. For the front legs, I'm going to clip them about the length of the fly. And for the rear legs, just a little bit longer than the tail. I want these to be fairly pronounced and wiggle a lot once they're on the water and give that life form that we're looking for in this pattern. So I've prepared my hackle. And I've pulled some of the barbs off the stem, a few more on the bottom side than on the, on the top, because those don't know where to lay when I begin winding. And I'll tie that on to this um, pattern. And from here, I'm going to take my thorax dubbing, that brachycentrus olive, and I'm going to wind it on right at the thorax position. 
and I'm going to wind tightly up in front of the legs and behind the legs to kind of set those in place and we'll wind this forward to the head. And then I'll go ahead and wind the hackle in that palmered wrap coming forward with about five or six wraps all the way up to the head of this fly. And then ultimately tie it off and clip the excess. Make sure I get a couple right in front of those legs and then we'll wind that off. So let's do a whip finish on this fly. And then I'll rotate my vise so you can see this pattern on all sides. This is a really nice pattern. It floats high, you can fish it in fast water, but like I said, I use this a lot in lakes to imitate the big bugs. And I like to bang the banks with this pattern. So that has been your Sun River Anglers Fly Tying Corner for this month. I hope you've enjoyed the Peacock Stimulator and we'll give this fly a try. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our YouTube page and also like us at our Facebook page, Sun River Anglers. Thanks for watching.